When did you first meet Miss Hurd's parents? I first met Miss Hurd's parents when uh, they they had come out to Los Angeles, I believe, and uh, yeah, and and, and uh, I feel I feel like that I met them. Uh, I think they came to my place to my to, to, uh, to my studio and um, they were two completely opposite ends of the end of the spectrum people Paige um, was um, she was an angel she was an angel and uh, and uh, I loved her very much. Uh, I, I, I loved her instantly. And we had a very good relationship. Um, her father, David, was the opposite end of that. He was this outrageous kind of, almost like a cartoon cowboy, you know. And he was, um, the initial thought, I mean, my initial kind of definition for David would have been rascally, like a rascal, you know. Um, but I, 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 I loved. Them. I mean, I grew to love them both very much, uh, as, as well as her, uh, her sister Whitney. And um, yes, it, it, it felt like I had been welcomed into some sort of family. I had been accepted into this this family, and um, those relationships stayed solid um, until just a bit after we'd uh, separated. How often did you spend time with Miss Hurd's parents during your relationship with Miss Hurd? Quite a lot. Whether we, I, I used to have a boat, um, and we would go, we would take her parents, her family, and we'd go sail the boat and, um, you know, drop anchor at the island, and uh, we would spend a week, two weeks, whatever, on the boat, on the island. Um, also, uh, they would come to Los Angeles quite a bit. We also would go to Austin here and there to see them, visit them. Um, every year we would, uh, on their anniversary, um, I had a friend of mine who had a restaurant in Austin, very, like a very good restaurant in Austin, and uh, I'd, I'd call him up, basically basically set it up so that every year on their anniversary they could just go there and and um, they'd be taken care of and there would be no bill so they could just celebrate and I think one of the things we did was yes we, we would try to order them car so that uh, they could drink um, no, I, 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 I was very fond of them, very fond of them. Now you mentioned Miss Hurd's sister, Whitney. When did you first meet Whitney? I don't remember exactly when I met Whitney the first time, but I, I've... But I felt when I, when I first met Whitney, there was something in there was something in what I saw of Whitney that was less, much less confident than Amber. Um, much more um, revealing of insecurities. Um, uh, 
Objection, Your Honor. Just foundation. What he right. saw in Whitney. I think if you can answer the question. Yeah. Okay. You want to ask the question again? That's fine. I, 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 we can move on. Okay, um, that's fine. Um, how would you describe your relationship with Whitney? Great. I mean, fantastic. She was... I called her sis. I loved her, you know. I felt... I had always felt something... I would always felt like Whitney had missed out on something. Same objection. All right. We can move on. Okay. Um, where, where was Whitney living when you first, when you and Miss Heard first started your relationship? She was living with her then boyfriend, Sean Krzyzewski. Was this in the same, where was Miss Heard living when you first started your relationship? Uh, Miss Form, uh, Miss, Miss Heard had informed me that she just moved to a new place on Orange Avenue. What city is that in? Los Angeles, sorry, yeah. And was Whitney also living in Los Angeles? Whitney was living in Los Angeles, yes, with, her, with uh, Sean Krzyzewski and, uh, yeah. So how often would you see Whitney um, when you and Miss Heard were in a relationship? Oh, a lot. Um, Whitney, would, uh, Whitney would come over all the time with her boyfriend for dinners and such. Uh, Miss Heard always liked having... Um, people over, you know, for dinner parties and socially, shows, you know, social kind of events at her, at her, at her place. Have you ever done any drugs with uh, Whitney? Yes. How often would you do that? With Whitney. Yes, with Whitney. Maybe two, two times, three times, maybe twice, three times. Did there come a time when Whitney moved into um, the penthouses that you owned at the Eastern Columbia building? Yes. And and when was that? I don't remember exactly when it was, but I I uh, do remember that it was after uh, Rocky uh, Pennington. And yes, I believe Josh Drew was there already as well. Um, Whitney, <clears throat> I can't remember why she needed a place, but she uh, needed a place, so we gave her penthouse four to live in. And how long did she live there for? Oh boy, uh, uh, on and off for, uh, I suppose, a couple of years. And how much rent did you charge her? Uh, nothing. Now you said you did drugs a couple times with with Whitney. Um, what what drugs were you doing with Whitney? W Whitney and I had uh, done a, a line or two of cocaine together. <laughs> 